take down the question okay the question is taken from class uh, ninth quadrilateral x uh, okay so write down the question a b c d is a rhombus you'll have to show that a diagonal ac is bisecting at angle a as well as angle c and di uh, diagonal bd bisect angle b as well as angle d so here let me explain you all about this so here what has been told is here you all can see a b c d is a rhombus okay for rhombus we know the property that all sides are equal right so you all have to show that a diagonal this diagonal ac is bisecting it at angle a also at angle c at angle c also okay so first let us prove the first part okay so take down the in triangle a b c and triangle a d c okay so i have taken which triangle a a b c and a d c so i have taken these two triangles now from this you all can write down a b is equal to a d and b c is equal to d c okay so what i said is a b is equal to a d and b c is equal to c d why it is because all sides of rhombus are equal okay you can write down the reason that all sides of rhombus are equal okay so i'll have to write down the reason over here then you all can take a common side ac is the common side right ac is there which is a common side so ac is equal to ac you all can write down and this is your common side okay so you all can see that both this triangle are congruent by which rule side 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 we didn't uh, use angle over here okay so therefore you all can say that triangle this abc okay this triangle abc is congruent to triangle acd okay or adc is congruent to triangle adc so what you all was supposed to prove that now you can say that angle uh, 4 is equal to angle 3 okay angle 4 is equal to angle 3 and angle 2 is equal to angle 1 okay so 3 is equal to 4 and 1 is equal to 2 okay this two angles are equal so this is by uh, cpct corresponding part of congruent triangle okay cpct so on this basis when you call this 1 is equal to 2 and 3 is equal to 4 which this means that uh, therefore ac bisects bisect at angle a and angle c okay so when i say that uh, this 4 is equal to 3 i can say that ac is bisecting at angle c and what about this 1 is equal to 2 that means angle ac is bisecting at angle a okay ac sorry ac is bisecting at a okay so now let us take the second part now first part we already proved that uh, diagonal ac is bisecting at angle a as well as angle c now we have to prove the second part that is diagonal bd is bisecting at uh, b as well as d okay so let us prove the second part for second part let us draw the figure now okay so let us just draw a figure okay so first the diagonal was from here to here now the diagonal will be from b to d okay so i will name this as 4 and this has 5 okay this will be 6 this will be 7 okay so remember this part so now let us take uh, in triangle a b d and triangle C B D. Okay, so I have taken which triangle A B D and C B D. I have taken this triangle and this triangle. Okay, so let us prove this. So from this, you all can see A B is equal to C B. Same way, A D is equal to C D. Okay, so A B is equal to B C. 
and ad is equal to C, uh, cd okay so this is what we can say all side because we know the property of rhombus so all side of rhombus are equal okay rhombus are equal then close the bracket then bd is equal to bd okay so here you all can see bd is equal to bd which is a common side okay so therefore triangle a b d is congruent to triangle c b d okay now this is which rule we are going to apply side 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 rule okay so here you will have to write down okay for the first part also i have not written over here right so here you will have to write down side 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 okay let me put this a somewhere here okay side side rule and here also it will be let me put somewhere a over here so this will be side 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 rule okay sss rule it is okay congruence rule so now you can say that angle this angle 4 is equal to angle 5 and angle 6 is equal to angle 7 okay so if angle 4 is equal to angle 5 this is by cpct cpct <laughs> okay just close this bracket like this it will be better for you all so if i say 4 is equal to 5 which means that b uh, bd is bisecting at d and if it is 6 is equal to 7 which means bd is bisecting at uh, b okay so you can write down therefore bd this bd is bisects bisect b and angle d okay so bd is bisecting at angle b and d as well okay so we have proved the second part also from this so bd is bisecting at b and as well as d angle d so i hope you all have understood how to prove this and thanks for watching i'll only have to know the properties if you all have any doubts queries you can comment below and don't forget to like subscribe my channel and share with your friends press the bell icon for more updates